Hi guys, it's your coach. Welcome back to this video. I'm going to talk on how you can put your stop loss. The four major ways you can set your stop loss while you're taking a trade. No matter how the trade is, there is always a way to set your stop loss properly. Please like, follow, share, subscribe, and share this video. Let's grow together. Okay, now the first way to put your stop loss is when you have uh, a structure like this, which is an ascending triangle. You can see here, this, this structure broke at this resistance. So when you enter at this point here, your stop loss should be at the support level of that structure, which is here, okay? So once you enter there, you put your stop loss just below the structure and you target your TP and you're good, okay? That is the first one. So the second one is when you have a trend, you can see this is an uptrend, okay, which you have the break of this trend at this point. So once you confirm that and you're entering at that point, your stop loss should be above the previous height. You can see which is there and your, your take profit is just far below. Okay, the next one here is when you're trading a continuation of a trend, like this is an uptrend here, okay? And if you watch here, this trend came, broke here, came for a test, and it's going back up. So once you confirm something like that, so you enter at this confirmation of the continuation of the trend, and your stop loss should be below the structure it tested. Very simple, guys. Very simple. And the last one here is when you're choosing the Fibonacci for your confirmation, okay? When you're using the Fibonacci, Let's say you have an uptrend, it came for a pullback at 50% and it's continuing. Once you enter the 50%, your stop loss should be at the next Fibonacci level, below the next Fibonacci level, which is these guys, and you're safe. With these guys, you enter the trade and your stop loss will be placed perfectly with no problem, guys. Have a nice day.